Cool, so now we have an understanding of building our base. Then, we learned about force absorption and production. Now, it's time for the alpha of explosiveness. That is elasticity. When I look at building an explosive, more elastic athlete, plyometric training is a method that will get you to your destination. Let's talk about the concept of reactivity. This is the intake of energy from the ground and how we utilize that to generate explosiveness, specifically explosiveness in our lower bodies. A goal with training elasticity is to produce high force in a short amount of time by minimizing knee bend and using a stiff knee landing. This is important because research shows that tendons and aponeuroses return up to 93% of stored energy during recoil. However, if we spend too much time on the ground, that energy will leak into the ground and we would not be getting the most out of our efforts. In this exercise, I am allowing myself to sink deeper into the range of motion which will lead to a longer ground contact time. This will decrease the return of energy from our tendons. However, the deeper the range of motion probably allows more help from the muscles leading to a higher impulse and a higher production of force. Studies have shown that these deeper joint angles and ranges of motion lead to a higher standing vertical jump versus quicker ground contact jumps. If you are not a nerd about this stuff like me, let me break it down for you one more. What I'm trying to say is that plyometric exercises with stiff landings and short ground contact times will improve your force production in small amounts of time. On the flip side, plyometric exercises with a longer ground contact time, meaning we spend longer time on the ground and deeper ranges of motion or more knee bend will improve your standing vertical jump. You just can't be good at one or the other. You need both to be successful. That is, if you want to have head turning athleticism that will make a grown man cry. Here we have an intro exercise to elasticity. This is very low level, but just like we talked about on episode one, you need to build your base. The same goes for plyometrics. I did say there are levels to this, you know. Remember, skipping the intro exercises is like a guy trying to ride a unicycle at the Tour de France. Start with the training wheels first, please. Otherwise, you set yourself up for failure, and failure meaning poor results and knee pain. With plyometric exercises, it's not so much the exercise itself, it's more about the application of the exercise and the proper progressions. That is why you need a system. No, just scribbling down exercises on a piece of paper won't get you where you need to be. You only have one shot at your athletic career. You don't want to chance it by taking a guess and go approach. That's all from me, deuces.